modifiers. Read the following sentences. Anyone can learn a foreign language by practicing it regularly. Without doing any physical exercise, you cannot keep good health. Doing homework at the right time is a good habit. A blooming flower is beautiful to look at. A growing child needs nutritious food. A sleeping lion cannot catch a prey. Don't put your hand in boiling water. Don't sit on a broken chair. The girl is nursing the wounded bird. They bade goodbye to the departed guest who came to visit them. We saw the men looking out hopelessly. Special stress has been given on the use of ing phrase plus, by or without, ing or ed within a clause, be plus adjective plus phrase, and be plus adjective plus to plus verb. The words of phrases by practicing, without doing, doing, blooming, growing, sleeping, boiling, broken, wounded, departed, and looking out hopelessly are used to modify the noun. These are called modifiers. These may be placed before or after the nouns. Hence, these are also called noun modifiers. There are two types of modifiers. One, pre-modifier. Two, post-modifier. One, a modifier which precedes a noun is called pre-modifier. Example, a blooming flower, a broken chair. Two, a modifier which follows a noun is called post-modifier. Example, we saw the men looking out hopelessly. Various types and uses of pre-modifiers. There are different types of pre-modifiers. One, determiners as pre-modifiers. The boys and girls are walking side by side. Those boys and girls are very intelligent. Two, predeterminers as pre-modifiers. All the boys are present in the class. Both the books are out of print. Three, present participle, ing participle as pre-modifiers. A darkening sky may bring showers. The cloud brings showers for the thirsting, means thirsty, flowers. 4. Past participle, ed or en participle, as pre-modifiers. The injured cat is limping. A burnt child dreads the fire. 5. Adjectives as pre-modifiers. A lazy man cannot be an early riser. An intelligent girl worked out the sum in a few minutes. 6. Noun for a noun modifier. The school inspector came on a surprise visit. I'm going to my country house. 7. Nominal compound as pre-modifiers. She is a record-breaking typist. Mark the wheat-producing countries in the map. A low-cost house is not easily available in Delhi. Various types and uses of post-modifiers. There are different types of post-modifiers. 1. Present participle phrases as post-modifier. The students saw their teacher coming into the class. I found an old woman standing at the door. 2. Past participle phrases as post-modifier. A tiger killed by the hunter 
was left in the jungle. I have got the letter written by you. 3. 2. Infinitive phrase as post modifier. Here is a chair to sit on. Jyoti was glad to know her SSC result. 4. Adjective phrases as post modifier. Mr. Anil is experienced in teaching English. He's a man of great honor. 5. Nominal compound as post modifier. You should be aware of the Kolkata bus routes. 6. Nominal clause as appositive used as post modifier. The report that he was murdered is true. Our hope that he would come back home proved false. 7. Relative clause as post modifier. The boy who saved the girl is a scout. This is the pen which I lost yesterday. Noun modifiers and head nouns. Now we see a noun may be modified by 1. The words before the head noun, pre-modifiers. 2. The words after the head noun, post-modifiers. Nominal group or noun cluster. The whole group of words having the head noun with its modifier or modifiers is called a nominal group or a noun cluster. All those tall, noun cluster is girls, remaining part, with long hair, danced in a big hall. Here, girls is head noun with pre-modifier, all those tall, is noun cluster and post-modifier, with long hair, danced in a big hall is remaining part. Noun cluster, all those tall, pre-modifier. Girls, head noun. Remaining part, with long hair danced in a big hall, post-modifier. Subscribe to my channel. Click on bell icon to get notification about new videos.